today I'm going to be reviewing the Porta Torch made by Lincoln Electric. It's a gas torch made by Lincoln Electric. I got it at the Home Depot for just over $300, $310 plus tax. So today we're going to review this. I'm going to cut some wrenches in half. I have an idea for an art project. So I'm going to get this set up. Um, upside down. I have to leave it like this. I, I, uh, I open this at the gas place. Hi everyone. Uh, you might have noticed uh, a pretty decent edit in the uh, torch video. There's a desk in here now. <clears throat> not uh, on the floor. You're not over there anymore. My kids came over. I didn't realize it was Friday uh, evening. So I had to wrap that up. So anyhow, I'm going to continue my torch review. Which one am I going to cut up? I got two five eighths. We're going to go outside, fire this baby up. Uh, it's pretty windy today, so I'm going to give you guys some some free filler music and you're just going to have to watch and when we're done, we'll come back in here and I'll do the final review for it. There's glitter all over the desk. Now it's glitter on my hand and my shirt. I just need to stop. Okay, so let's review the Lincoln Electric Porta Torch. What do I think? Well, the setup was pretty easy. I had no problem setting it up. I've ran some bigger torches, um, you know, golf club size. Uh, that ran liquid oxygen through them. I have ran a lot of torches fabricating, um, gas torches uh, that just were oxygen and acetylene. And I've never worked at a company that has new torches. I've never worked with new torches before. You know, I was taught to set up a torch um, to the regulators. We learned to set regulators in high school. But after that, w w when you start a job that you're going to be torching, the regulators are already set up. And, and so I had to really do some digging on how to, how to set these up properly. I wanted to do a bigger cut of the old camper frame out there, but it is way too windy today. And um, I just didn't want to risk it. So I nipped off the corner. Um, I waited about a half hour to make sure that, that the flames were, were out. And then um, we came in here to do this. So see. I can't attest to the long-term durability of this ring. If you own an industrial fabrication shop, you're probably not watching my channel anyways. But if you're going to be doing, you know, 12 hours of cutting a day, every day of the year, I, I don't know about the longevity of this. But I've never ever used a torch with seats this nice. I'm used to torches that when you bump them, you know, with your arm, uh, it 
it's just the torch off or you get a big fireball. Um, so the seats were amazing. The one thing I don't like about this acetylene bottle, and I don't know if it's Lincoln's fault, is this square Mickey Mouse valve. And you get this little wrench here that you're going to lose in five minutes. And that's how you open and close the acetylene bottle. Now, if you have an emergency, you're not going to be able to run over and shut that valve off. Then I was thinking, if you have an emergency with acetylene, you better just get the heck out of there. Um, don't mess around with it, especially with the hose this short. If, if something goes wrong, you get out of there um, as fast as you can. Acetylene is no joke. I am impressed. Um, I don't know about the, I haven't weighed the, uh, the cost savings of, say, full-size bottles. Um, and, uh, you know, a lot of times, a torch just for the head and a good, uh, good torch at a welding shop, you're looking at 300 bucks. I got this whole set for just over 300 bucks. I don't know, I, I, to, to, to look to get new bottles for the deposits, um, and buying the hose and all that, I, I think it's a really good value for somebody starting up. Or maybe someone that doesn't do a lot of torching. Maybe you know that once a year or twice a year you have to do some torching, so you save all your torching for that. That's the deal with that motorhome. Um, so in that case, uh, maybe this is a better option. I don't know how long these bottles last. Um, I have some work I need to do with them, and uh, I can't be afford to be cutting stuff up just for fun. So again, when you buy a small bottle torch from a store, the first thing you should do is take the bottles to the place where you get gas. In your big cities, you might be able to have your Mickey Mouse bottles filled up. Up here in North Dakota, the only way to get gas is to switch out your bottles. And if you don't have good bottles, if, it, if you bought some off-name torch, they will not take your bottles. You will be buying uh, basically this handle and hose uh, for $310, and then you're just going to have two new bottles sitting there. So keep your receipts. Check it out. Uh, you'll be seeing us a little bit with uh, some of the work I want to be doing. So anyhow, um, if anybody has any questions, let me know. Um, I love to review things, and honestly, if this thing was garbage, I would have taken it right back. I don't mess around. Uh, Lincoln Electric, you get 10 out of 10 from Mike's Mischief. Thanks, everyone. Next time I'm going to be reviewing the cheapest MIG welder at the Home Depot in our town. The FluxCord 90 uh, by Century. Go ahead. Pretty good. Yeah.